Hi guys, it's me, Amy. I'm not your average wife. I'm going to do a, a journal flip through of a journal I made out of a National Geographic. It's not, um, you know, I kind of messed up on the cover. Can you see that there? But it is what it is. Where is this? I want to make sure I'm right in there. Okay, so on the cover, it's just a napkin and I collage some little people and then these hands up here this is a journal that I think I'm gonna list on eBay as a completed collage journal glue book junk journal I don't even really know what to call them because they're a little bit of everything guys I'm so sorry about this shadow it's from my phone I don't know how to get rid of that so yeah, Bo would probably know, but Bo doesn't come and help me very much. So now I'm I'm trying to avoid a glare too, guys. So yeah, this this is a napkin under here and just collage. This is a cat that Georgie colored for me. And I liked it. So I cut it out. Look at the little pink nose she gave it. I love it. Can you see that? You gave the cat a pink nose and pink ears, and I love it. I think she colored that with marker. Yeah. So there's that page. This one says, beware, for I am fearless and therefore powerful. Mary Shelley. That's a quote from Frankenstein. That's also, this is also a napkin under there. And these pages get so... Thick and stiff but you know I don't have a whole lot to say about it I'm just sharing it with you guys you might like to see it I love to look inside other people's journals this page has a lot of journaling spots and I didn't do any journaling in this this book there's nothing super personal in here but it's pretty much full. This page really got away from me. I had no intention of it turning out so dark, but it did, and I'm, I'm leaving it because even though it is super dark, I do still kind of like it. So that stays. And then here, journaling could be done in there. Heck yeah. This page here, I wanted to, to just try my hand at the collage face made out of things that <laughs> aren't a face. Although this is an eye. It is an actual person's eye, but I liked it. That actually looks like it might be too, but that's definitely not a nose and that's not a mouth. So that's what that is. And there's Jeff Goldblum, who I love. This one goes this way. It's just a vase of flowers. And it's these pages in the book. I didn't paint them. I put the uh, citrus solve on them. If you've ever seen anyone do that on YouTube to a National Geographic, it makes great backgrounds. It really does. And I'm sure there's tons of videos you could watch on that. Very easy. And it has a, a really strong scent of orange which I like I can't smell it anymore in this book but when you first make the pages yeah if you like the smell of orange you will love it these have little just blank tags that I need this paint is metallic paint oh and i've got a pocket there there's a tag that i made what's it say together is the best place to be i did not do anything to the back of it though that's a hot mess yikes it is a hot mess this i made with the drywall mud the stencil and also over here i love the way it feels when it dries love to touch that it feels so good 
this I tried to do stenciling with the metallic copper paint and it just I, apparently you need some mad skills to do a stencil right and skills that I don't have guys because it just comes out in globs I don't know what I'm doing wrong but I sewed these two pages together and I made a big pocket there's another one this, this gentleman that's got you can see how thick that drywall stuff is but it's hard it is hard. I really, really, really like using that drywall mud. Huge journaling spot. This is just tea dyed notebook paper. It's a collage of refugee at risk. And more collage. This is also a napkin. There's some washi tape. All of these little squares were just stuff that I cut out of uh, scrapbook paper pads. I've got a ton of them, and I was just like, I gotta use these up. So they became my background for this. Yeah, I still have tons. Collages, gluing, there's napkin here. And this was part of the original page. And this was part of a page that had the citrus solve on it. There's a sticker. Doily. Fun stuff. This is just, uh, it's, it's not overwhelming because it's not very big. It's a nice size. Feels good in the hand. I like it. I think that's, nope, one more page. I don't really do anything on this, but paint it and stick that octopus down. Oh, this is the last page. But here you can really see where I messed up because this is the last page and look how it, it's like all crooked and everything. I don't even know. If you, and then when I shut it, it doesn't even shut right. See, look. This is the back cover. It, it won't even, I don't know what in the heck I did wrong, but I surely did something. See, there's the spine, and it's just totally jacked up. But it's still a fun journal. You'll miss the best things if you keep your eyes shut, Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Just a fun little magazine journal I wanted to share with you. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will answer them. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you soon. Love you. Bye-bye.